All right, let's do this. We're back looking at some Mattel toys here on the Jurassic Park podcast. I am Brad, and today we're going to be looking at the already opened Amber Collection figures of Velociraptor and Dr. Ian Malcolm. These two specifically were sent to us via Mattel, so thank you guys so much for reaching out, for sending this over to us to take a look at them. Now, um, initially here, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, so these were sent over in these boxes, which... Um, when I got it, it was a little beat up, a little strange, uh, but that's why I kind of just opened them up. I didn't really care too much. There's a little bit of nicks and, and stuff all over them, um, but it's actually a pretty darn cool box. Maybe I'll, I'll put them in the focus in a little bit, but yeah, you can definitely see there's some uh, issues on the box, but I think... The figures themselves are uh, pretty interesting, at least. So the standout one for me is obviously the Velociraptor. I think this thing, it might be the best toy that they've created. It really, really might be, to be, to be honest, to be frank. I love so many of the Mattel toys. You guys know me. I am not overly harsh or super critical or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I have my, you know, quibbles and, and, and stuff like that with the toys, but I think overall, I love them. I think they're fun uh, for collectors like me. I don't really care. Uh, I hope there's more people like that, like me out there. I don't know if there are, but um, I think this is a really, really cool one. I think the uh, there's some surprising features on here. It looks great to me. It really does resemble that Jurassic Park Raptor. Um, I, you know, looking at it just square away, I was kind of like, when it was in the box first off, I was like, oh, okay, that looks pretty cool. It looks good. But when I took this thing out, I was like, oh man, I kind of love this thing. Um, it's just, it's it's massive. It's really massive. Um, and it's got this bendy tail, which I think is phenomenal. Uh, so that is really, really cool. And you can pretty much position it wherever you want it. Um, so that's awesome. It does have a little bit of issue standing up on this pedestal. Mine is like constantly falling over, but I think uh, it does give it a little neat, uh, it, you know, just stature there. You can kind of point it or position it any kind of way you want. So I think it's really cool though. I love it. I love how like angry it looks, how much you can position the face and the mouth and it just, oh, it looks so good in like any way you put it. Man, that thing is good. Arms are super long, a lot of articulation on these things. The coloring, I think, is great. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a little loose in the legs. So, like I said, it's not too, too great uh, for standing. I, you can get it to stand on its own. That didn't take too much work, but I got it there. Um, but I do, yeah, it looks, like, super messed up when you actually look at it this way. It looks like it's like, oh, it's a little broken in the body there, <laughs> jeez. But, uh, hey, it stood up, right? I mean, that worked, sort of. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. But I think this thing is pretty phenomenal. Uh, looking at this mouth here, oh, my gosh. Man, that thing is really, really cool. I know a lot of people have talked that, you know, this is just essentially the blue sculpt, but uh, I don't care. I literally don't care. It's so, so darn cool. I love the paint job. It, uh, it works for me. You know, there's there's obviously little differences here and there for the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park, but I don't, I'm not like a stickler for details. I think it looks phenomenal. I love it. It is probably, like I said, one of the best toys that they've created. Um, and, and again, it's not exactly a toy per se. I mean, you, you could certainly use it that way, but I think this is definitely for the older crew out there, you know, the collectors, the people that want this thing on their shelves. It, uh, it's awesome. It is so cool. Um, and I did want to point it out. Uh, you know, I, I, let me see if I can stand it there. All right. So that's, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. It stands up fine. Um, I did bring out my old school Velociraptor, my Kenner Raptor there. And uh, this has always been one of my favorites. You know, it, kinda, it resembles that Jurassic Park Raptor for me. But uh, you can just tell how massive that thing is. Man, that is so cool. But uh, I love it. I love it so, so much. And uh, that is definitely like a centerpiece. I am very excited to see what else comes from this thing. So 
man, please, please keep producing them. And we know, you know, Charlie is out there. Blue is coming. So this is uh, this is pretty awesome. I hope we get more Raptors from the original movies. You know, I want to see a Lost World style Raptor. I want to see, uh, you know, both the, the Raptors that we know specifically from uh, from Jurassic Park 3 because they are very identifiable. I'd love to see those. But um, I think this is a great start for the Amber Collection. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Now, I will say, uh, moving on to Dr. Ian Malcolm. Uh, now, this guy is unfortunately not my favorite. Um, you know, looking from it back here, from afar, it, it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the glasses, uh, the very, very foggy sunglasses look. Um, I, I just think in general, Ian Malcolm, uh, Jeff Goldblum, is a very, uh, a very tough person to capture um, in a sculpt, in a toy, whatever it may be, in a collector's item. He, he is very, very difficult to capture. Um, I, I almost never am on board with the way that he looks, whether it's the old school toys, whether it's the new stuff, the three and three quarter inch, the this six and a half, I believe, inch. Uh, but I, I appreciate that he is a very, very unique looking gentleman. Um, in, in this case, I think this looks just a little too tall. I think he might be a little too tall, but uh, you know, again, Jeff Goldblum's a, a tall guy, I guess. So maybe if they do it, you know, make other figures, he won't be as tall. I, I don't know, but I just think that in my eyes, the, the kind of figure that I want, I would just like him to be a little bit shorter i think maybe if it did actually end up being like that six inch or whatever um i think that would maybe be a little bit cooler but i, I do i appreciate the figure um i just don't really love it to be honest and I, I think there's you know there's this um let me bring this up here there you go so um there's this hinge like uh this you know articulation point right here and i i don't necessarily understand that one all that much i don't really get it um he's not really supposed to be dancing but um it's just not oh there goes the cup so i guess a t-rex is on the way i lost the cup it's gone bye bye um but i just don't necessarily love that articulation i think it looks awkward on the figure so maybe less of that but outside of that i think the the sculpt and and uh uh, the the articulation and everything is pretty good on everything else. I have no no major issues there, um, and I think you know all the sculpting that they did do, despite it not necessarily resembling Jeff Goldblum for me. Uh, I think it uh, it looks pretty good. All right, I did find the cup. It just rolled away. So an interesting thing about this figure though is it comes with these uh these other hands. So right here, you can see there's a few <laughs> a few hands and they do have like, this one has a ring on it, this one does not. Um, but it's interesting that it comes with like, a, you know, an extra set of hands. So if you don't want him to be holding the flare or holding the, the cup of water right there, uh, then you can just put normal hands on. So he's just not in like a, a, a position like this all the time, I guess. But um, I I think it's a, it's a okay thing. It's just really not for me specifically. Um, maybe it's just the fact that it's Malcolm and Malcolm's a hard one to capture. Um, I think I, I am definitely obviously very, very interested in seeing a lot of the other figures. So hopefully we get a Grant, hopefully we get an Ellie Sattler. Um, and I know, you know, we know that uh, Dr. Um, not Dr. Uh, what's his name? Dennis Nedry is coming at some point. We did see that teased, I believe, back at uh, San Diego Comic-Con. And we did see the tease of the Dilophosaurus. So that will be really cool. And I would assume a little bit smaller than that Velociraptor back there. But uh, hey, while, while we're here, um, I have, oh, oh my God, that is Oh, that's like, that's like, that's like toddler, toddler Malcolm right there. My God, he's so small. Um, so, you know, for me, I, I have never been a huge fan of the three and three quarter inch. I, uh, I, I still collect, I still collect them like crazy. Like I, I will definitely get all the humans that are out there for the three and three quarter inch line. Um, I do wish they were a little bit bigger, but I will say that I love the overall scale, so it doesn't bother me all that much. But um, he's a little small, he's a little too tall. So I am I just kind of wish, you know, he was maybe a little bit shorter or the, the humans were a little shorter. I, I do, like I said, I love the, um, the size of this Velociraptor. 
So that is um, something that's kind of tough for me because look at that, he stands pretty well. Um, I love the size of the Raptor and I think, you know, it, it's short, it looks good next to Malcolm, but I think even if you did shrink it down a little bit, I still think that that size would look pretty good. Um, so really, I appreciate everything that's going on here. I love, you know, what Mattel is doing. Uh, taking a chance on this bigger line with the Amber Collection, doing something for collectors out there, which is which is really awesome because as cool and as fun as the uh, variation of Raptors that we have uh, through the other line, the, the, the standard line, um, this it just blows them way out of the water. It's it doesn't compare whatsoever. Um, I don't know honestly. I will say I don't know what a lot of people's reactions are to that Raptor or to to Malcolm. So this is all fresh and, and my own kind of thoughts here. So I, I don't care though. I love this thing, and I yes, it, it might have some some issues with the sculpt as far as Jurassic Park is concerned, but the paint job blends it all so well. It looks so nasty, so mean. I love it so much, and I, I gotta say I love that tail. So this is something I think is a must-have. This one, pick it up as a secondary option if you're if you're really like a hardcore collector or you're really into that figure or whatever it is. But um, you know, personally, maybe I would think to save my money for the next batch. Um, but I do say that this is pretty awesome. So you can't really just get one and not the other, I guess. I don't know. But, um, oh yeah, real quick, I want to take a look at the boxes themselves. So let me go ahead and move these guys back just a little bit. And first off, um, so yeah, you can see there, there's a box for the, the Amber Collection Velociraptor. I love the styling uh, of the, uh, the, the brand styling for the Amber Collection. Very, very cool use of the Amber color with the T-Rex, the cracks and stuff on the rocks. I, I got to say, though, that the shape of this package is very strange. It's very strange for me. It doesn't work. Um, the fact that it's got this big, you probably can't really even tell in the video, to be honest. But um, there is this, like, quarter panel right here that's just kind of, like, oddly positioned. Yeah, you can see it right there, which ends up just making it look a little beat up. Now, like I said, you can see it here. It is kind of beat up anyway. It does have a lot of nicks and stuff all over it up here up there and like i pointed out down here um sorry it's a little blurry uh this whole thing was a little beat up up here um so i don't know what happened with their packaging but the fact that it is a little like a skew like that i think that just lends to the fact that it looks a little bit more beat up as well um but i i kept it around because it's a pretty cool package and I, i'm not you know, too keen on keeping packages, but uh, these were pretty cool. Um, and uh, I think it's pretty awesome, though, that you do have this image on the background uh, of the uh, of the Velociraptor. Sure, it looks a little bit different, but I think overall, I am very happy with that figure. Highly intelligent and aggressive. The Velociraptor is known to hunt in packs with the innate ability to distract and deceive her prey. This cunning predator proves to be one clever girl. That is awesome. I, I do love this. And it says right there, adult collector uh, on the bottom. So keep your eyes peeled for that, everybody out there. This is this is very cool. And the fact that it actually says Jurassic Park on the side, very awesome. Nice, nice touch. And it does say 14 plus right there, just in case you guys were wondering. Um, but uh, this is cool. I love that. I love that so much. Um, like I said, though, the dents on these things are a little odd. Um, I kind of wish they were just straight packages. Uh, I don't really get it. it Maybe if they were symmetrical, but uh, they're not. So it's it's just a strange choice for me. Uh, on the back here, you do see Dr. Ian Malcolm right there. An expert in chaos theory, Dr. Ian Malcolm is one of the few original visitors to Jurassic Park. While he often uses humor and sarcasm, he has a deep understanding and respect for the power of nature and knows that life uh, finds a way. So there you have it. It says JurassicWorld.com, but you also do get the Jurassic Park logo. Very cool. Love this thing. 14 plus again. And uh, let's see, does this one say for adult collectors? Yes, it does. Down in the bottom corner here. Let's see if I can focus in. Adult collectors, wait, hold on. Look, there it is, adult collector. Um, that's pretty cool. So again, I love this. I love this packaging. I just wish it was a little less dented looking. Um, but you know, we, we have some cool figures. I am very excited to see uh, where this line goes. I hope I hope it's done well. And if you have not picked them up yet, what are you waiting for? Go get it. Uh, specifically this one. 
pick and choose if you want that one. Um, but uh, like I said, go for it if you want it, but it's just not really for me. It's just not my kind of thing. Um, but this guy, man, he is so good. Or she is so good. Oh man, this thing. I love this tail. This tail is just like, the, it's so old school. I love it and it twists, it does all this stuff. Oh, it's so good. So much articulation on this thing. Oh man, that's definitely like one of the best toys they've created. You got the Indominus Rex, you got the, uh, you know, the, the Mosasaurus is one of the best ones they've created. Uh, so I think this kind of falls in line with some of the best ones they have out there. So guys, thank you so much for, for watching this video. Thank you so much to Mattel uh, for sending these our way to take a look at here on the channel. I really, really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So make sure to go follow us online, JurassicParkPodcast.com, at Jurassic Park Pod on Twitter, at Jurassic Park Podcast on Instagram and Facebook. S search for our Facebook group over on Facebook. Make sure to join up, answer the two questions. You got to ask, uh, or we're asking you like a name of an actor or, or a character or something like that in the movies, and then who's a contributor or host. You can answer me, and you can answer like Sam Neill, Alan Grant, I don't know, what, what, whatever it is. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in here on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this around. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much and enjoy.